Hey, Billy Glisson here with PowerCore 360. In today's video, we're going to talk about the brain, the nervous system, what muscle memory is, all how it relates to your vertical jump. Hey, in sports and vertical jump training, we spend a lot of time talking about the muscles. But I want you to understand it's really not so much about the muscles. They're an important part of the process. But it's really more about the brain, the nervous system, and building this muscle memory that will help you learn to jump. Uh, higher, faster, and gain a, an advantage over your competitors. Right. And the nerves are tens of thousands of nerves that run from the brain down to the jumping muscles. That's really what's coordinating the movement, the jumping motion, the mechanics, and actually allowing you to build strength in the specific muscles that are going to help you jump higher and faster. You see, muscles are actually quite dumb. They get their instructions from the brain. So when we say we're building muscle memory, muscle memory is really a misnomer. What we're really saying is and what we need to understand is the brain creates the instructions for the movements up here in the brain. But the brain has to have a way of sharing that information and giving the instructions to the muscles to tell them how to create force. Tell them how to create movement and help tell you basically how to jump high and fast, right? That happens as you train. And basically you have tens of thousands of nerves that go from your brain down to the muscles of the legs, the hips, the butt, the core, the back. They're going to help us jump. You have tens of thousands of those nerves. And those nerves run from the brain carrying microvolts of electricity to specific muscles. Now, those tens of thousands of nerves that are there, you're not using all those tens of thousands of nerves to jump. You're going to use, let's say there's maybe three or four hundred of them that go to the quads, the glutes, the hamstring, the, the, the butt, the back muscles, right? So those specific nerves are getting instructions from the brain and they're firing those instructions through microvolts of electricity down to those muscles when you get ready to jump. So in simple terms, when we talk about muscle memory, we're really talking about two things. Building the instructions in the brain for how to perform the jumping movements, and secondly, taking the specific nerves that are going from the brain to the jumping muscles and training them. And we're actually going to create a coding, just like an electrical cord. An electrical cord, when, when you go and plug it in, it doesn't have just bare wires because you'd get shocked, right? That electricity would go through the wires and right into you, and it would shock you and burn you. What happens with an electrical cord is that there is a coating over it, a rubber coating, and that rubber coating allows the electricity to go from one end of the cord to the other fast and efficiently. Well, the nerves are doing the same thing. They're carrying microvolts of electricity from the brain to the exercising muscles. They also have a coating on them, and that coating is created. It's called myelin, and it's a fatty substance that the, the body creates and builds, and it wraps it around the specific nerves we're using to go to those jumping muscles. Every time I jump and every time I jump and do my strength exercises with focus and concentration, I'm taking the same nerve fibers, the same nerves, if you would, over and over, and I'm wrapping those specific nerves with this myelin. And so it's like taking electrical tape and wrapping insulation around a wire. We're doing the same thing. The body, when we focus and concentrate on our strength exercises, our jumping mechanics, we're going to take those specific nerves and we're going to wrap myelin around there. What does that do? It allows the instructions from the brain to how to jump to move faster, quicker, smoother down to those exercising muscles. That's how you gain an advantage over your competitors. Ever seen an athlete who's really coordinated, really smooth? How did they get coordinated and smooth? They did focus, concentrated reps many, many, probably tens or thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of times with focus and concentration. And they have wrapped myelin, that fat substance, around the specific nerves that allows them to perform that jumping movement or whatever sports movement they're performing. They look smooth and coordinated because the brain, because of this myelin, is sending these impulses and these impulses are flying down to the muscles, right? There's not very much thought going on. The, the athlete just says, I'm going to jump. The instructions are there. The instructions fire down this myelinated nerves, right? These nerves with all this, this coating on them and it goes fast and efficiently. The end result, they're smooth, they're coordinated. On the flip side is the athlete who looks herky and jerky, and even though they've been in the weight room and they're big and strong, they have all kinds of explosive power, but it's not coordinated, right? You, you see them try to jump and it's herky, it's jerky, it's uncoordinated. They haven't taken the time to think through in their exercises, think through in their mechanics, be focused, be concentrated in their brain, teaching the brain the right instructions, and then teaching the brain to wrap the specific wires, the specific nerves down to those muscles to work to take that myelin and wrap it around there. So their impulses, their electrical impulses go down not very fast, not very efficient, kind of herky-jerky, and the end result is herky-jerky, uncoordinated movements and motions. Hey, so if you want to gain an edge over your competitors, 
take this information and long story made short, when you're trained, when we're doing our exercises, whether they're strength exercises or jumping exercises, do them with focus and concentration. That's how you'll build instructions faster in your brain. That's how you'll build myelin around the nerves, the specific nerves that are going to those specific muscles. That's how we'll build it faster, quicker, more efficiently. Hey, ever heard an authority talk about that it takes 10 years or 10,000 reps to master a sports movement skill? Well, that's been the thinking for a long time. But here's the deal. If you train your jumping movements and your jumping exercises with focus and concentration and your mechanics as well, then here's what happens. You'll dramatically reduce the number of years, the number of repetitions it's going to take for you to improve your vertical jump. It won't take you 10 years and 10,000 reps. You can cut that down dramatically. But you can't just go in the weight room and throw weights around. Yes, you'll get strong. Yes, you'll get big. But you're not going to myelinate the specific nerve fibers, the specific nerves, if you would, that are going to those specific muscles. You're not going to jump. You're not going to improve your vertical jump as fast and not be as coordinated with it as the athlete who spends the time, does the focus work to, to think through their exercises and build that myelin. So you want to gain an edge over your competitors, jump higher, jump faster, and do it in less time. Train and build the instructions in the brain, myelinate those nerves, build what you call muscle memory, but that's the science behind it. Yeah. So not every athlete's willing to do the focused work and repetitions it's going to take to improve their vertical jump fast, faster than their competitors. But understand this, not every athlete's gonna become a champion. You wanna become a champion? Do the focused, concentrated work it's gonna to take to get there. Hey, if you like this video, like it down below. If you'd like more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. If you want more information about our clinics, our products, our programs, or masterclasses, go to powercore360.com.